The 2024 J Feather 21 MML just might be the perfect couples camper with a Murphy bed. This thing's right at 26 feet long, fully loaded 6,500 pounds. Like I said, it features a Murphy bed, so it's a very spacious interior. Some really cool upgrades in 2024 that Jayco has delivered. I want to show them off to you now. Three favorite things I want to show off. First of all, the decor. We're now calling this vintage farmhouse instead of modern farmhouse. Still this nice color, really brightens up the interior. Nice new backsplash, new flooring, really love it. Number two, a huge patio side window. I can keep an eye on all the fun activities out on the patio. And three, maybe my favorite, a 10 cubic foot 12 volt fridge that opens this way and this way. Hey guys, it's Mike coming to you from the VRV family of companies. This is the 2024 Jayfeather 21 MML and in a 26 foot package, there's a lot of room and a lot of reasons that this might be a classic couples unit with a Murphy bed. Murphy bed right behind me, so when the Murphy bed's up, you have lots of room in here. Two very comfortable recliners right across from the TV, so perfect TV viewing angle. Beautiful big window that lets you view all the activities on the patio side. Then coming into the galley, this might be the most spacious galley in a 26 foot unit. Very nice, new countertops, new decor, and then a really nice spacious bright bathroom. Love it. Hey guys, we're gonna start off in the front here. I'm gonna start off where the Murphy bed is up here and then we'll work our way toward the back of the coach. If you're shopping Murphy beds, this is one of my favorites. It's one of my favorites because it's so spacious in here. This is truly a couple's camper. Can you do this with a family? Absolutely. We can drop the dinette into another sleeping space. But this is so nice because in a 26 foot package, there's a lot of elbow room in here. And part of that is because of the design of the Murphy bed up here. So I have a jackknife sofa up here. Before I drop the sofa, I want to point out something that Jayco's giving us in the Jayfeather, and it's a table right under here. So you'll see these in all white hawks, and in they're in some feathers as well. This is great. It's an outdoor plastic table that you can take out, and it's really nice, and it doesn't take up really any space at all. Nice place to store it, plus two drawers under here can never have too much storage if you're using this as a sofa i have usb and usb c i've got 110 right here as well so very nice on either side very handy so if we want to drop this down into the murphy bed sleeping position we want to drop this jackknife sofa down well first of all that makes a little sleeper right there if you're by yourself or you just want to take a nap boom, you have a little sleeping surface. If I want to drop the full queen bed, release this right here, and this will just come down, and look how nice that is. Very nice. Now, one thing I love about this is, as I turn these lights on, so you have a night light there and reading light there, that Jayco's changed these instead of touch, they're actually little toggle switches, which I'm very okay with, because the, to the uh, touch switches were a little temperamental. It's definitely either blue night light or reading light. You can move this around to suit your, suit your reading angle or whatever. But what I like is you can leave this made up with the pillows there, blankets and everything, pop it up out of the way during the day. You don't have to make it up every night. They left enough room in there so that you can uh, leave it fully made up. And it's super easy to do. It's not heavy to, at all. Before I pop it back up, I want to point out, look how thick this mattress is. It's a foam mattress, Serta brand mattress, and very comfortable, I might add. So just lift up like so. That's spring loaded, it pops in place, and now you're ready for travel. It's just that easy. Pop up this jackknife, like so. We're ready to go on either side. I've got a closet rod there to hang some clothes. I've got a closet rod on this side to hang some clothes as well. 
Now I have roller shades all the way around. That's consistent with years past, but there are some updates in 2024 I'll point out as we go around. One of them is the floor that I'm standing on. This is new residential style flooring. It's got a nice texture to it and a little bit of cush. It's very quiet, feels good under feet. Um, really nice, complements the vintage farmhouse. Not modern, now we're going to vintage farmhouse. So you're gonna combination of this grayish color here on the cabinets under the dinette and the lighter sort of off-white uh, what we used to call modern farmhouse. Roller shades everywhere around. I've updated the valances on 2024 here as you can see. Very nice. Jayco didn't tell me that they updated the furniture, the recliners. Maybe it's just me but they feel even more comfortable. I mean this feels like a residential quality chair <laughs> so it is reclinable just pull on this little tab right here boom and i'm good to go right across from our smart tv our insignia brand smart tv so really good viewing angle that tv is adjustable i'll show you in just a second but you've got these little uh tv trays basically you don't lose your drink your cup holder here because there's a cup holder here still have a cup holder here if you don't want it pop it out you can stow it away push it out of the way but this is probably where i'm going to eat most of my meals right across from the tv each one of these and then under here you've got room for remote controls and and reading material and so on as well these are very comfortable like i said i i, I i'm thinking that they upgraded the cushion or something because it's really comfortable talked about the tv so this does pull out an angle so you can watch TV up from the Murphy bed when the Murphy bed's deployed. So I don't have to have a separate TV. This TV is serving the whole coach. So whether I'm watching from over there or up front from the sleeping position, I can do that. I can move it over. It's up to you how you can pull it all the way out and angle it. So that's real nice. I've got smoked glass insert on these cabinets up here and Bluetooth capable radio, of course, AM, FM. Um, you've got different zones, so I can push the sound through the speakers in the ceiling. I can also push the sound to the speakers out on the patio. And then similarly over here, I've got more storage on this side as well. Underneath each uh, dinette seat is storage. I have storage here and storage in there. I would probably put a little plastic tub in there, pull it out. It makes accessing things so much easier. Um, but you can lift this up and take off this whole seat base to do the same. Now here's a 2024 upgrade that's pretty cool. Check out this new table. Pull it out here so you can see it a little better. It's completely modular and really stout. So I can fold this up, take it outside on the patio, use it out there. Of course I have that other table as well, that five foot table in addition to this. So I can take this out there. This opens this up. Of course, this will drop down to become your bed base if you want to convert this into another sleeping position. I like that. It's not a knee knocker. It's really stable. Um, nice new feature. I'm glad they did that. So just kind of working my way back into the coach. We have a pretty decent sized slide. So the slide houses your two recliners in this portion of the galley. So when that slides out, really opens up the inside here. Now here's a nice thing with the slide in, you still have access to everything. I can still get to the fridge, bathroom and everything with the slide in. Now, boom, 10 cubic foot, 12 volt refrigerator. So the industry is swinging all the way to the 12 volt side of the spectrum. So you're going to be hard pressed to find gas electric refrigerators moving forward. I'm a fan of these for a number of reasons. If you've watched my videos, you've heard me talk about it. These work like residential refrigerators. You turn them on and you're freezing stuff in the freezer a couple hours later. With a gas absorption fridge, you got to turn it on the night before to get the temperature down. So it recovers quickly, behaves like a residential fridge, and it's running off 12 volts, which is very efficient. So when you're going down the road, you're sending 12 volts to this. It's running, it's staying happy. If you turn your truck off at a Bucky's or something and you go in for a couple hours and do your Christmas shopping, it continues to run off your 12 volts. 
if you're out in the middle of Timbuk nowhere and you have no shore power, no generator, it continues to run off your 12 volts. But at that point, you need to be mindful of your 12 volt charge status. And that's where solar comes into play or a generator, things like that. Now this does come standard with the solar, uh, the Overlander One solar package, so you are sending a trickle charge to those batteries, which keeps this refrigerator happy. Confused yet? We'll help sort all that out. But here's the neat thing. Not only is it uh, 10 cubic foot, I'm here working in the galley. I can grab things out of the fridge, which by the way, we turned this on like 20 minutes ago and it's already getting cold. But say I'm sitting here in this recliner. Hey, honey, could you get me a beverage? Get it yourself. Okay, I can open it from this side. How cool is that? So no matter where you are, Maybe I'm over here getting stuff ready for lunch. I can put stuff out from there. I'm over here cooking and I need to grab things out of the fridge. Just an ingenious idea. Of course, the freezer does the same thing. Love it. Everything's black now in 2024. So you have black. Your appliance package is black. Range hood up here is black. So here's a 2024 upgrade or enhancement, you might say, is uh, the backsplash. Jayco did such a great job in 2023, so good that I swore it was ceramic tile the first time I saw it. And I thought the same thing here. It looks, it's got a 3D look, but it's smooth. It's easy to wipe clean. The countertops um, are enhanced a little bit. So you've got a square edge. It looks like a piece of marble now. Um, it's not, it's a very lightweight material, but it looks very modern, very classy. I have our knife holder back here. That's a holdover from 2023 and very handy, so I can put knives, scissors, and so on back there and keep them safely stowed. This range hood is vented to the outside. It has a light and a vent, just like home, like that. Fold this back to become our backsplash. Easily removable, great for cleaning. This is propane fired, our backlit controls, and then our lighted oven as well. Really, really nice. Now, speaking of storage, I've got storage up above here and over the top of the range hood. Got two shelves under here as well as underneath the oven. There's 110 power right there, so it's a good chance the coffee maker is going to maybe go there. There's 110 power. And then nice corner sink. This has a cottage feel to it. High rise faucet with a strainer and cutting board slash sink cover right here. Expand your prep area again, our new countertop material. And then we have wireless charging. So if your phone supports wireless charging, pop it on there and it begins to charge. How easy is that? Now, if you need power, you may say, I want the coffee maker over here. Just pop up your tower of power. I have 110 USB and USB-C power too. Very nice. Now, a little bit of storage under the sink and then four drawers here. And as always with Jayco, these are ball bearing drawer glides. They're full extension drawers. So you can get all the way to the back of the drawers and get the stuff out that you need easily. A little more storage up here as well. I can put big stock pans and so on up there. And then our microwave up here, big enough to warm up those leftovers and make popcorn and stuff. Now going into the bathroom, so very bright. It's bright because I have a skylight up there. Um, again, reminder, we're in a 26 foot package. That's not a lo super long trailer. That means you can park this in most any state park, most any national park location at that length. At 6,500 pounds fully loaded, that means you can pull this with most any truck, certainly any half ton truck, but even some of the smaller uh, like Rangers and Chevy Colorados and Tacomas likely will be able to pull this safely. If, if in doubt, give us a call. We can look up your specific truck for you. Nice medicine cabinet up here over the stainless steel sink. It's not plastic like you'll see in some other brands. It is stainless steel. A little bit of storage under here little cubby and then you've got more storage 
right here with a removable shelf removable shelf so you do have some taller items you can put them in there no problem I have a plastic foot flush toilet here plenty of leg room and then like I said I've got a nice skylight in here so very bright one piece shower surround I'm six feet tall exactly I've got about six five here if you're six five but a one piece shower surround shower wand and kind of a funky shower curtain it's one thing that I'm not in love with I don't hate it don't love it uh, I'd probably use it until it got nasty and then I just use a regular shower curtain but that's just me I like to take a shower curtain out throw it in the wash put it back in keep it clean either that or have something that I can squeegee so I'm, I'm not a huge fan of these but uh, what do you think? Your vote's more important than me. I think Jayco's looking to save weight where they can, save a few bucks where they can, but keep the efficiency and the style points in place. But uh, uh, not a huge fan of it, but not a deal breaker. But here's something important. I'm standing on three quarter inch tongue and groove plywood underneath this shower pan. That's really important because most manufacturers don't do that. You get in a lot of showers and you can feel it give just from stepping up into it, which is really stressing the plumbing connections. Jayco reinforces that, so you don't have to worry about getting in and out of this shower and causing a leak over time. It's something you don't see and you wouldn't know if it was uh, if somebody didn't point it out. So I always like to point that out. Pretty neat. So uh, really nice, really nice unit. I'm going to go to the front of the coach and. Uh, point out a couple other things. I've got a 15k AC unit up here that is fully ducted, right? So it's got a dump opening right here. If I open this up, holy mackerel, that feels good. It's hot here in Texas today. If I close that, now I'm forcing more air through all of these vents, right? Right here, right inside the door. Before we go outside, I'll point out just really quickly our J command system. So right here is where you can control all of your temperature uh, settings. Toggle through for pairing your device so I can pair my phone to this and control all these things from my phone. My tank levels are of course all empty at this point. My water pump is off, electric and gas uh, water heater is off. The awning controls extend and retract are right here and then the slide control is right here as well. I can see our room temperature and set our fan settings and everything. So very handy and it's super nice that you can do this from your phone. Regular old fashioned toggle switches for the living room lights right there, awning light outside, and then boom, we have a Furion tankless on demand water heater. And this is the control for it right here. I'll point that out as soon as we get outside. All right, what are you thinking? Are you like this floor plan? If you're a fan of Murphy beds because of what they do to the interior of a unit, let me know what you think. If you've had a Murphy bed uh, unit before, especially, I'd love to hear from you, but I'm liking this a lot. Enough of me gabbing about the inside. Let's go outside. Okay, now we're on the outside of this 2024 J Feather. 21 mml again 26 feet long so i keep saying that because that's a big deal to me easy to pull easy to stow easy to store and easy to tuck into so many different campsites yet a lot of times when i look at smaller trailers they're just a little too small for my taste but hey some folks love super compact that's the beauty of it we have all shapes and sizes um, so this is like that happy mix of small compact but pretty decent amount of elbow room inside so we're on what i call the fun side of the rv where all the fun stuff happens i've got plenty of awning coverage here 14 feet i think we have of awning coverage there's a little bit of an updated graphic uh, package on the 2024s. It's not dramatically different, but it is updated a little bit. We have our same nice wheels, our Dexter axles, um, never adjust brakes. That's consistent with years past. TV mount right here, so if I want to have a TV out here, I can do that. I've got our cable hookup right here and our, our power here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that table under the couch, the sofa, bring it out here. Is it a couch or a sofa? We call it a couch at our house. Some people call them sofas. Or is it a, yeah, what, what do you think? Couch or sofa? 
power, put the table here, then I can have a TV, a margarator, a coffee maker, whatever, right here, right on the patio side. I love it. Right there's our speakers, our LED light strip up on the top, so that's uh, giving us a ni nice ambient lighting up here. This is a little thermistor right here sampling the outside air temperature, which you can check from the inside of the coach. Now, this, uh, starting in 2024, there's a climate shield designation on all the J feathers. So that's about as close to being a four season unit as you can get without being a four season unit. So enclosed underbelly, which receives heat when the furnace cycles on. So this really extends the amount of time you can spend off grid and in the fall and the shoulder seasons when it's getting, getting chilly outside. So again, very nice, huge window on the patio side. So notice I don't have a slide protruding into the fun side of the campsite. No slide here, so it doesn't take up valuable real estate, but a nice window so I can slide this open. Um, talk to your spouse out here. Hey, what do you want to drink? What do you want to eat tonight for tonight? So it's really nice to have that there. These are solid steps which fold in for travel. So what you're gonna do is, and these are adjustable legs too. So these legs are infinitely adjustable if you're on uneven ground. This just folds up for travel, locks in place, this pops away, and you're off to the races. This is a never adjust awning. So if I wanna pop this side down, simply pull down like that and I can do it and shed the water if it's sprinkling out this way or that way. Nice clean pass-through storage with a magnet catch up here. Look how nice and clean that is. I've got a light in here, which is very handy. Very clean. I've got more power in here as well. So if you get a golf cart or a scooter out here you need to charge, you've got power available right there. And then this little switch right here, when I turn the switch on, if you can see out here, these blue lights come on. Really looks neat after dark at a campsite. Easy to find your unit and doesn't blind your neighbors. Now, Jayco started doing these new stabilizing jacks in 2023, and I am a huge fan because they work so well and they deploy quickly. We did a separate video on these, and Jayco's done a video on utilizing these. One thing I just want to point out, though, is when you deploy these, make sure you can see some daylight through here. The more of a right angle or a 90 degree angle that this is, the better. But as long as you can see some daylight between this red and this portion, you're good. More the better. Here's the thing though, man. This thing is solid. It's hard for me to even move it. And I only have the front two jacks stabilizers, I should say. They don't even want us to refer to them as jacks because they aren't leveling jacks, they're stabilizers. There's two in the back, I only have the front two deployed, and it is, as the name implies, rock solid. Love it. Two 20s on propane up here, um, kind of an updated uh, LP gas cover, which looks nicer and a little more substantial than previous years. Lighted power tongue jack, so this makes it super easy for unhooking and hooking, especially after dark and leveling front to back. If you're new to RVing and you're curious about what do you have to do to level this thing, I did a separate video which I'll link below on how to level your trailer. It's pretty easy but there's some really handy tips in that video. Your battery tray right behind there and we put those fresh batteries in when you buy it, not before, so you have very fresh batteries when you take delivery. Opposite side of our pass-through storage and then we do have our uh, battery disconnect right here so you can turn the battery off uh, when not in use. And then right up here I'm noticing we have our pure sine wave inverter. So it's an 1800 watt pure sine inverter so you do have inverted power inside the coach. Very very nice to have. Again pull over, turn the truck off, you have no other source of power but you still have inverted 110 power to, uh, to use at select outlets in the, on the inside. Vacuum bonded walls. So Jayco is one of the very few manufacturers that vacuum bond their fiberglass walls. So this goes into 144 tons of pressure for 12 minutes. So 
Think of it as a giant food saver for an RV wall. It distributes all the adhesive and really, really pretty much uh, minimizes the possibility that you'd ever have an issue with delaminating the sidewall. So very nice to have that. Here's that Furion tankless on-demand water heater. This is so great because forget about having to take those military showers. You can, in fact, take those 10 and 12 and 15 minute showers with a tankless on-demand water heater. So you're in a hurry to go to the party. Your spouse has been in there showering for 10 or 12 or 15 minutes and you jump right in. You'll still have hot water. Your main pressurized city water connection is right here. You'll want to use a hose specifically for fresh water and always use a water pressure regulator. This does not have a water pressure regulator built in. You'll want to put a, uh, a water pressure regulator on here to, to keep your pressure at 55 PSI or less. Your cable or satellite input, if you have a satellite dish, you're gonna hook it up here. If you have cable at the campground, and many of them do, hook it up here. Now you'll have cable inside and on the patio side of the unit. Stabilizer jacks back here, which I did not deploy, but you can, they're super easy to do and rock solid. Your uh, sewer outlet right there, you have gray and black gate valves right here, easy to get to. Now here on the back, I have our shower, hot and cold outdoor shower in the very back of the coach. I always prefer it when it's in the very back of the coach for a number of reasons. Whether I'm washing the dog or the spouse or my sandy legs at the beach, it's nice to be in the back of the coach, but it's hot and cold and you have a shower wand in there. So we used to give our dogs baths next to our RV, even when we had it parked at home, that way they could shake till their heart's content. Uh, handy to have that. You have detachable, 30 amp power cord and then we have a rear camera prep up there so you can put rear camera or side cameras on when you buy it here from us or later we can we can do that for you or you can do it yourself um, ladder so you can scamper up on top I don't talk about Jayco's Magnum Truss roof system enough, but I should. It's a truss system, much like your home. It's got a 4,500 pound weight rating, which far exceeds the competition. So in the unlikely event that a tree limb were to fall on your unit while you were using it, it might be a call to State Farm and not 911, okay? Full size mounted spare here in the back. It's movable from right to left. If you want to put like a bike rack or something, you can move that around. I do have propane quick connect right here, a low pressure propane quick connect. So if you want to cook up, uh, hook up a, a grill or something out here, you can do it. Hey, we're in a 2024 J Feather 21 MML. Lots of numbers and letters in there. This is only one of two J Feathers that have a Murphy bed in it. This is my favorite. They both have their redeeming qualities. We'll do one on the 19 MRK, I think it is, when, it, when we get to access to one. We're gonna roll out these 2024 videos as soon as we get them on our lot, so you can do your shopping from the comfort of your home. Then give us a call. Speaking of give us a call, if you have questions about this unit, uh, feel free to drop them in the comments below. While you're down there, go ahead and click like and subscribe so you'll be the first to know when we post more videos like this. And you can always give us a call here at the dealership too. Uh, if I'm not available, one of our sales reps will be available to help answer questions. Everybody at the VRV family of companies is factory trained in what they are selling. So these aren't guys and gals that are just doing their best to guess at the answers. They're factory trained, so we do our best to bring you informed uh, information so you can make informed decisions. Hey, my name is Mike. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.